On today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up and run NEC PC Engine CD games on RetroArch. So this is a kind of like a guide which shows you what kind of BIOS files you need to run um, the NEC PC Engine CD emulator on Batacera, but it's the same because um, Batacera was developed from RetroArch, so there should, shouldn't be a difference. So you need to get these BIOS files and put them in the BIOS folders for RetroArch first. So I'm going to go to my RetroArch folder. This is the BIOS folder for that. And you'll need some BIOS packs so you could download um, RetroArch BIOS pack or you could download Batocero 33 BIOS pack. I'll leave both of these in the video descriptions below. And you would need those files. I'm going to open the Retro Arc BIOS pack. It says I need some files, so let's see what those files are. That let me clear out some of this stuff so we can get it more organized. Okay, so it's systems. Okay, there it is. So I need syscard three. Let's see if that's in there. Got syscard one, two, three, okay. I'm gonna put those into my BIOS folder in RetroArch. Okay, got those three in there. Need something called GexPress as well. to the BIOS folder. Those are all the files that I need. Well, let me start RetroArch. Show desktop. Okay. I just delete this and just create a new one to just show you. Right click, create a new playlist. called any CPC engine CD. Put some games in there.
Put that super right in. Okay. Bonks. That. And that. Now I'm going to associate with that with an emulator. I think it's a Beetle emulator. Good. Now what I want to do is we start RetroArch. If you haven't gotten the PlayStation emulator already, just go here. Download a core, and the core that you need is um, it's NEC PC Engine Super Graphics CD Beetle PC. This is the one that you need, and then you just associate it with that core, and it should work. Now, let's see if it works. That doesn't appear to work. There's two files. I'm not sure which one it is. Maybe it's this one. Options. Let's see. This is the right BIOS, that's for sure. Hmm. Not working. Try another game. That's not a game file. Running it this way is stupid. I guess it just loads all the files in there, which is just retarded. Okay, load content. Let's try to load it individually. it with this one see if that works if that does work in der guten alten zeit this is from german or something
Okay, so it does work. So let me close this. Let me try to load another one. So it's a .cue file that you have to load. I'm going to select this again. See if it works. You could press the hotkey and B. No, no, I'm sorry. Uh, the menu key which for me is select and start and you could change the emu the roms if you want go here and change it but system 3 is probably the most compatible one if you have bootleg games you may select system 2 system 1 or a game express but for most games system 3 bios is the one that would work Okay, that's it. So there's a problem with my DVR and retro arc. It seems to like lock up from time to time like this. So now you know how to run it. So if you have any questions, you could leave it in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.